so I forgot to record a live commentary bit at the start of this video. And I also recorded with my mic audio for the first session of the video, which is two and a half hours. I have done basically nothing between the end of episode six and now. Normally I'd go here and describe my basic plan for the entire build. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's not very complicated. Basically, I'm going to dig a series of caverns, three main ones containing various cave biomes. This build has some lore to it, but it's mostly just cool to look at. I started with a pretty terrible concept for this build. I was going to build an oblate spheroid in which I would replicate different cave biomes in different areas of it, but it would all be in one open space. I legitimately believed this would be the best path forward for like 14 hours of gameplay. At some point in there, I decided to build the bottom of the spheroid, which did end up mostly making it into the final build. Mainly just this red glass I put at the bottom, mainly because I had leftovers from the Mason Monument, not because I actually thought red would look good. I planned to put lava there, which I did actually do. The only other useful thing I did in this time was get more netherite pickaxes, which I spent quite a long time enchanting for this project. Anyway, while building that bit, I realized it was a horrible idea, and I started doing things the right way. So I'll cut to a montage in which I plan to finish the digging part of this great big project. Also, I did something before the start of that montage, which I'll talk about at the end of it.
couple of weeks now and I am officially done with the first part of this build which is just the digging I have dug out uh, this massive area over here I have dug out some mine shafts which can hit me down I'll explain more later I have dug out this other massive area for another cave then this this little tunnel here snaky little tunnel which reconnects over here, which is from this area, and goes down into here. So this is going to be an ancient city in the end. I've built a little dome, uh, uh, like sort of dome, upside down dome. And there's going to be an ancient city sprawling out from the center point. Now up here, I have built a mine shaft system. This has all sorts of uh, connections and little bits, but there is um, there is one connection which goes all the way to the surface up there, um, and another. Uh, let me see if I can find it over here, which goes all the way through the island to the other side. So that's that. Uh, this this little um, area. So as you saw in the montage, I originally wanted to dig like a an ellipsoid, a spheroid underneath the end portal, uh, which I didn't do. But part of it is still there, which is why this will be very hard if I wanted to spawn proof the island. So that's what was all in that montage. Now I want to talk about what wasn't in that montage. So you may see that I have 15 enchanted golden apples. And I have gotten silence. Uh, more on the armor later. So, uh, let me get into the nether. I'm now established up on the nether roof. So I have all these little portals, different indications for what they are. Like, that's for the desert, this is the monument, that's the end. I have kept my tunnels underneath the ceiling bedrock. And I have some nice, soft hay bales to land on down here. Uh, I had... Quite a close call while doing this. Uh, I was recording, actually. Oh my god, I'm about to have another close call. Basically, I was uh, breaking the bedrock up here. I mean, it's gonna, I'm just sh gonna show you the video, but I was breaking the bedrock up here, and it broke the netherrack I was standing on, and then I fell all the way down before having placed any hay bales there, and I was on, I believe, two and a half hearts. So, for the end project, as well as another, which I'll show you in a second, which I've gotten started on, I needed an extraordinary amount of beacons. And so, I hunted basically all of them at this wither at this nether fortress here. So, I would just go along, fly around until one... There, I just got a wither skull. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I would fly around killing wither skeletons uh, for a very long time. Like, many, many hours I have spent here. Um, by the way, it is currently day 814. Um, I believe I did have one close call, which I, I, in which I ate a golden apple, which, yeah, because I remember at one point, I originally had 16, and then I had, uh, less than that. I had 15. <laughs> so, since beginning that grind, I have killed, uh, 2,822 wither skeletons, and I have killed 43 withers. I do have six beacons just in my reserve now. I can pop down wherever if I need to 
do some resource grinding, which I'm going to need to be doing a lot of for the second half of this build. So now I want to show you what's on the other side of all of these portals, because some of it's changed a little. So the end, this is just the stronghold. That's exactly the same. We already went over that. Here is the Mesa Monument. Uh, this is almost exactly the same. However, I've acquired a sniffer egg. Uh, I'm waiting for this thing to hatch. I know it hatches faster if you put it on, I think, moss, but uh, I don't care. It'll hatch in due time. Um, so that's really all that's happened over here. But now let's head over to the iron farm, because a lot happened in this region. So as you can see, I have some storage and beacons set up. And I have laid out a perimeter. Now, because I don't plan to do this this episode... But this isn't really a build that, like, I'm worried about someone scooping up, uh, mainly because other people have already done it. I'm not digging this all the way down to bedrock or even to deep slate. I'm just going to dig it down to ocean level, which I believe is 63. I'm going to do that all in the next video, probably. There might be another video in between. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and this iron farm, I built it in episode 2, and uh, that was, uh, like, February, March... Uh, I did not expect that this iron farm would be such a bitch. Prior to 1.20.5, there had been this feature called spawn chunks, where certain aspects of your spawn chunks would keep working even when you weren't there, which included villages and iron farms. In 1.20.5, they made a change, which basically <laughs> turned the spawn chunks from, like, uh, I believe it was 19 by 19 chunks to 3 by 3 chunks. And this is my actual spawn chunk here. The, sp the chunk I spawned in. So, uh, you might notice that's 1, 2, 3. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a few chunks off from the iron farm being within radius. However, the iron farm is currently working 24-7, as long as I'm in the world. And the reason for that is, I went into NBT Explorer and changed my spawn chunk radius to 10 again. Which means it's 19 chunks by 19 chunks. Um, some may call that cheating, and I say, fuck off. Because if I had just built the farm a little over that way, it would have been fine. Like, no goddamn way. I pulled my server about this, everyone said yes. I asked people in a hardcore Minecraft Discord server, which I moderate. And I should maybe start plugging from time to time. Uh, yeah, that, they also said, that's fine. You can't hold this against me. I, I am within my right. But yeah, this iron farm has actually been very good. Uh, the, the, absolutely no hate to the creator. They couldn't have foreseen this. Okay. So, speaking of 1.20.5, uh, a friend of mine showed me this cool thing <laughs> you could do in one of the snapshots. I believe it was 24W11A. In which, by putting two items with enchants in a grindstone... You could get the item on the top to receive all of the enchants from the item on the bottom. As long as you don't combine them, because that just grinds them off. This meant that you could put, for instance, projectile protection and regular protection, or any other kind of protection, on two pieces of armor, and then clone it onto the top one, and that way you would have god armor. You can just repeat that with every enchant. <laughs> and so I've done that. <laughs> I have full god armor acquired in the year of our lord 2024. Um, and I feel... I don't feel bad at all, actually. This is really cool. But uh, if you're vigilant, uh, you may have noticed in that update, you could get that on other things. So I also have an infinity and mending bow. <laughs> And a sword with sharpness, smite, and bane of arthropods. Basically, I'm unkillable. And that has really reinforced my choice to stop using the totems. Like, it, genuinely, I think I would never die in this world if I had totems and god armor and this goaded sword and bow. Well, the bow actually doesn't help that much in, you know, immediate combat. What the fuck? Who are, what's wrong with you? So, at this point, I have, um... 91,000 and stone mined. Uh, it'll be a little more. Uh, because I gotta replace some of the endstone I've placed and stuff. But here, I'm going to line out 
my plan for all of these caves. So this top layer will just be basic cave. There will be some ores and stuff scattered about. With this, all of the mine shafts, I'm going to take pretty heavy cues from actual mine shafts. Uh, so that those will just be pretty much copy and paste of that. This cave, I intend to make a dripstone cave. Oh, also, I didn't mention this little thing. I might cover it up. It was originally meant to be like a really long tunnel. And then I was thinking I'd put a fossil down here. Uh, but I ended up running out of, of island, <laughs> you know. Uh, so this is all going to be dripstone, as I said. Um, then going down here, I'm going to keep this tower. I'm I'm going to keep that tower. I'm not keeping this tower. All that obsidian's getting covered up. Um, around here is just going to be more regular cave, and now it's you know going to be going into deep slate. Over in this area, though, I want to have a moss cave. A, a lush game. Uh, this one uh, is probably going to be the worst to make, just because it's it's a tighter space. I'll have to do more fine terraforming. The water in the lush caves is really weird. Um, and then, uh, as I said previously, this is all going to be an ancient city, all under deep slate level. Uh, I don't know if I want to copy and paste the the ancient city structures right from the the ancient city. I might do, you know, some freehand, some copied, or maybe just all freehand. It would be much more authentic if I just decided to copy and paste, though it may end up looking better if I decided to go freehand and actually put more thought into the builds. Um, unlike these Mojang designers who didn't put any thought into it, they were careless, careless fools. I'm kidding, Mojang, please don't sue me or whatever you do when people say bad things about you. And so that should cover pretty much everything that happened uh, between now and the last cut that wasn't in the montage. And I will see you in another montage where I will finish this project and fill out all of these caves with all of their little things. And I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
Okay, so I have done so much since the last clip, I don't even know where to begin. Um, but... But the project is done. Finally. So, the few bits that are messed up, I'm gonna turn on my fucking game audio. Uh... There's a few bits that are messed up, but the project is actually done. These are my chests I was just breaking. There's a little unstone left over, but it's not too big of a deal. So, for a frame of reference, I recorded the last live clip in this video on May 2nd. It is currently September 20th at 1.49 a.m., and now I'm actually done with the project. At the start of that compilation, I believe I was done... Are you holding a block? No. At the start of that compilation, I believe I had done... I had finished digging, but I had not finished... Uh, I had not started placing any of the blocks. And now I'm done. And it's a lot. So, right at the end of that montage, I actually missed two full recording sessions... Uh, the, so I'll see if I can recover them somehow. I, the first one, so OBS, uh, if you're recording in certain formats, which happen to also be the only formats which are compatible with Vegas, uh, which is the editing software I use, those formats, if you record in them and you're recording, you close OBS or your computer crashes during the recording, it won't, the files won't be recoverable. And so the first time I had two recordings, the first one... I missed because I, like, kicked the power cord to my PC. Uh, and then the second one I missed because my power went off for my house for just, like, just, like, three seconds. It was nothing, but it still crashed my computer. So I had to miss that. Uh, so those, if they're in the montage, I'll let you know. Uh, but, yeah. So I started this project around day 6.30, I think. A little earlier, if you count uh, killing the dragons. And it's now day uh, 1034. Uh, I'll let you know exactly how much playtime I recorded, because I, I didn't record all of it, and we'll get to that later. But but now, uh, now it's done. These sh uh, shriekers don't do anything, by the way. They're ju they just make noises. So I've built all of these. There's some... You probably saw most of them in the montage, at least the interesting ones. There's uh, this... this uh, Mine shaft thing, which goes down into the void. Uh, there's this. No, not this one. This one, which I wanted to be sort of like a, a warship place. You have like the the burning cross here. You have the um, cross made of cross, burning cross made of soul sand. You have the seats, the whatever, whatever it's probably called, the seating in a church. Um, None of these really have any significance. I just wanted to build something that looked kind of like it would be in the ancient cities. Uh, so I did. I did all of these. Uh, they're not one-to-one -one replicas. They're they're mostly free-handed. There's a dirt block here. Yeah. So early on in the build, I thought it would be uh, cool and quirky to put dirt up top. Before I realized uh, that dirt, uh, our Endermen don't like dirt. They like to pick it up and move it around, uh, which was a a problem for the moss caves because they they do that they also do that for moss so i i used green concrete powder which i also use for the little mine shaft grass bit uh i used green concrete powder and moss carpets uh i did use moss blocks where i could which was pretty limited to like Certain spots in the ground where... Because Enderman, I, I don't believe, can pick up the block directly under them. Um, also, while, while building the the ceiling areas... Not not up here, but in in the area around... I I used dirt as, like, support because I was tired of working with scaffolding. And so Enderman did pick up some of that and go around. I don't believe Endermen that are holding blocks can despawn, so they, they place them and then eventually go somewhere. I got some, some Minecraft 2011 building techniques here. The skulls and the redstone dust on the ground for blood. I wanted to intentionally make this look a little less ravished than the real ancient cities. 
So, like, th this is all solid deep slate. None of it's cracked, I don't believe. So, this... This looks a lot more polished than a real ancient city. And that's sort of intentional. I wanted it to look more... You know, maybe it's a hundred years old instead of a thousand. I've also been uh, getting in the habit of using ender pearls, which I don't have any on, but uh, they're... They're very useful. Uh, so, I have this uh, little geode here. <sighs> yeah, it does that every time you land with an elytra. It's very interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll cut this out if it uh, was... If I touched on this in the uh, last part. Of enchants. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I had a, a bit of a close call with an enderman. I was only at, like, six or seven hearts, but it knocked me into lava as I was placing it down there. I'm also, uh, I want to make a change. I just flicked him on and it's lagged my game to hell. I want to start using shaders more throughout my videos, so I'll probably avoid using them when mining or in stuff where light level is, uh, you know, sensitive and could be problematic if you get it wrong. But yeah, th like, this build is so beautiful in a way that regular caves kind of also are, but this build is, like, so beautiful with the with shaders. I'm using complementary reimagined, which is like the slightly more vanilla look to complementary shaders. You know, I haven't actually flown under with the red glass on the bottom and the complementary shaders. So I'm gonna try that. I have plenty of fireworks. Oh, there are stars in the end. Oh my god. Over on the, um, the overworld side, I've done some stuff. Uh, you may notice that I have 26 enchanted golden apples. Um, so I got four in an ancient city, four from one chest. Uh, and then I went, uh, trial chamber raiding, which I, I could do a full video because I still need to get wind burst. Probably not a full video, but at least... Do a, a bigger segment on it in another video, but I got two heavy cores and I I have another mace in my in one of my shulkers. So yeah, I'm I'm good on that. Unfortunately, because this uh this armor has blast protection, that negates wind charges, so I can't do like this, but if I take off all of my armor, it works just fine. Over at spawn, I have made some progress. Uh, but not quite as much as you may have been expecting. So I have all, all of the endstone stored here. Yeah, it's almost 100% full. So I've done up to here with the, the spawn uh, plateau thing. I don't think I will finish this for several videos. I'm probably going to just chip away at it occasionally throughout videos and maybe... Maybe once I get it, like, halfway, I'll dedicate a whole video to just finishing it. Though I don't know how that would play out because it's it's such a monotonous thing. Where I, I don't really know that it would work. Like, I, I can't write about it. A montage would be very boring if it's just, you know, doing this over and over. And then uh, uh, repairing my fucking pickaxes and stuff. And then doing it again. That, that's not entertaining content, and that's not what I want to make. So I, I might just do it all in between, uh, and, and maybe I'll put an update at the start of every video. Oh god, I'm trying to think. There's gotta be- there's like so much shit I've done because it's been- because it's been four months and like a, a hundred hours of gameplay. I actually haven't played in this world like as much as I maybe would like to have. I, I think if I tried really hard and was, like, completely just laser-focused on getting this done, I probably could have done it in, like, one to two months. So, uh, officially, I actually did uh, tear out the interior of here. I might have shown that off, but, yeah, there's nothing here anymore. It's all moved over to the Mesa Monument. Um, it's kind of sad looking at this, actually. Like, I'm, I'm getting very... I'm... I'm I'm bursting in tears. Um, so, as for video progress, which is something I said I wanted to do throughout this video, is, uh, well, I've, I've made four of them. So that's pretty good. I've, I've cracked away at them quite a lot. 
Uh, and now I, I have up to episode 7. Wow, the glass casts a shadow? From the AFK plot? That's crazy. Um, the, uh... I've edited... So I think as of the start of this montage, I was... I had either... I was either just about to put out or had just put out episode 2. And so now episode 3 is out and episodes 4, 5, and... 4, 5, 6, and 7 are scheduled. I did that. I did not put out a video for like three months over the summer, though. So, you know, I, I did catch up on that. I put out a big Lethal Company video. That was very good. I forgot that I have a sniffer here. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Oh, my God. I'm so I'm so forgetful. I was like, wait, what? what's that? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Look at the way the, the light uh, casts onto the wall. Jesus Christ. It's so beautiful. I'm so good at building. Dude, look at the god rays. Oh my god, I'm taking it. I'm screenshotting that. It's it's rain it looks like rainbow. It's not rainbow in reality. Like I, I don't know where it's getting all that green from, but whatever. It's kind of weird that I'm I I'm at the end of the end project. So I have a couple of ideas. I'm like uh, I'm like uh, former famous uh, former game show host uh, Donald Trump. I have I have concepts of a plan, uh, but I I don't. I'm not uh, really a hundred percent set on any of them. Though the one I'm leaning towards most is uh, uh, I want to finally do sort of the other half of the lake that I drained in episode three. Which, uh, if you've noticed, the episodes have been getting progressively shorter and shorter. This one will probably be a bit on the longer side, just because I'm going into more detail and it's a huge montage. Uh, this is, like, by, by far and away the most uh, time, the most gameplay I've ever put into any video, and definitely the, the most time I've put into one of these hardcore videos. So I, I had a few caves I destroyed, but uh, the one the one thing I do want to show off down here is uh, my lava collection station for the uh, for the lava lake down there. It's so all of the top blocks are source blocks, so I actually collected all of the lava for that. I think my mic has been peaking this entire time. I okay, I turned it down a notch. If it if it is peaking, I'll I'll smooth and enhance. I'll fig figure something out. Um. So yeah, this is where I collected all of the lava. I need to fix this drop tunnel. Get like a, a proper thing and make it safer. I'm trying to think, and like there, there's so many random little things I've done, but none of them are really worth a mention. Like I'll 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 I might go into the script and just summarize some of the most, like, important or interesting things I've done. Okay, so I'm gonna call that the end of today's video. I am very proud of how this build has come out. I don't have Optifine Zoom, so I put myself in FO3, FOV30 for that. I am very proud of today's build. Man, uh, took so fucking long. Uh, but we're done. This is the end. So that is officially the end of the video. I am very proud of this one, and I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, do the YouTube stuff. And I will see you in the next video, which probably won't be Minecraft, but you know how it is. Goodbye.